Hey there everybody, this is Virus for All, bringing you some uh, Dawn of War, Dawn of War 2 Chaos Space Marines. As I forgot what I was going to call it as a shorthand, maybe I should rewatch my video. Anyway, uh, yeah, I just played the Orc mission from the Tyranid campaign, and uh, so you guys know what's going on with that when I had to stop the Orc's chokehold. Apparently I thought I was recording the whole time, I wasn't. Go me. Go me. I try to hit and record at the end, and I start recording. So, uh, good stuff there. But I just wanted to show you guys what, uh, what everything was going to be afterwards, uh, like the mission rewards and everything like that. I was going to do it anyway, so sorry about that, but hey, one less part. So you guys want to watch. Yeah. But subscribe. Mm. Uh, anyway. So we have Blood Letters, which I already have. Um, so I really don't feel like I want them. Uh, Chaos Dreadnought. And Eternal Suffering. Now I don't have any of any weapons for Elephus yet, but Dreadnoughts are pretty awesome. So like I'm, I was like looking at this before, and Chaos Dreadnoughts are uh, dual power claws, missile launchers. See missile launchers. Look at that. I think we're gonna get a Chaos Dreadnought. I think we're gonna do it. So everybody's leveled up. Uh, as you guys remember, in the Tyranid campaign, I only did have uh, my main Tyranid I could do anything with. See, like, there's no weapons or anything over here for him. Um, let's see, Bloodstained Armor, 75 health, melee damage, there you go. He's my melee guy. Uh, I like to actually go around... Whenever I, whenever I do uh, look around, I like to look for people's... Um, armors and everything first, like the new weapons. Uh, I didn't get any, I don't think I got any new weapons though, this time. Son of a bitch. Oh no, okay, I thought, whoo, I completely thought that because I had these, I couldn't get And uh, you know what, just in case, I think I might get rid of some of them. Let's see if anybody even close to leveling. Uh, nope, but he's on the bottom, so I will upgrade him later on. Anyway, available expendable items. Uh, first gets the Dark Gods there to receive unique item. Okay. Alright, very nice, very nice. So, whoever I donate this to is going to get something banging. And so far, I mean, this guy's got a staff. And, but, like, it's a default one. And this Power Sword is a default one, too. But, like, as you guys have seen, I can choose to get something else. Uh, let's see what's over here. War Gear, the Dark Twin. Oh, so that's a staff. Have to me. Chaos Dreadnought, <laughs> the uh, Missile Launcher, this war band. and they are uh, allied with Inferno Bolt. But I can get this for uh, him next time, so I think I'll... Hmm. Yeah, you guys keep chit-chatting amongst yourselves. So if I give it to Kane, it's a heavy bolter, bile spewer, eh, eh, it's alright. So, do I want to give it to Eliphas? You know what, guys? I think I will. Because I'm going to get that staff for, uh, Neroth next time. Available war gear, Maelstrom sword, level 3 power sword. Okay. See the power field. Alright, alright, you know what, I will take that. 80 damage versus 54. Kinda of feel cheated right there, but whatever. I'll be alright. <laughs> I will be okay. <laughs> and uh, as you guys might have seen uh, down here where the upgrades are, uh, I've only been upgrading their... You can tell attack enemies of offensive abilities on them. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, I do have. Oh, this guy. He has um, different commander items, and um, you, I can only really like max out two, and I can only wear one at a time anyway. So it's not like I'm even. I'm just gonna do one at a time. Uh, this guy right now. Um, I've been doing the where like they can build those uh, shrines, so like that bloodletter shrines. Uh, that's actually one of his special abilities. 
So if I did, if I took this off, I wouldn't even be able to have blood letters at all. And let's see if I upgrade this. Enemies attacking elephants chance to go and berserk and attack their own allies, which is nice, a little free damage. I want to upgrade this. Uh, fully upgrades marker corn, which is what I'm uh, have the mark of. Uh, permanently consumed by flames that sear the flesh of nearby enemies. So that means that uh, when I upgrade this now, and the next time I upgrade it, uh, I will be able to just walk in any enemies and they're going to start attacking each other and they're going to go on fire. So sounds great to me. Um, this guy, uh, increase the damage. There you go. Uh, increase penalty of all narrow suspense spells. Doom Bolt, Doom Bolt, which is the one I've been using, which I really like, uh, fires twice as many bolts. Hell yeah, so click on that. Uh, this is all the health, which I'm going to probably do next uh, for most, if not all of them. Um, yeah, I mean, this one's like uh, melee attackers have a chance to be teleported away. It does um, the honor guards and everything like that, so there you go. Uh, Demonic Rites adds an accessory slot, which I don't have any others right now. Uh, but demons, uh, like that big vehicle I have. Basically, if I don't decide to use any of these guys, a lot of these abilities will actually transfer to them. Which is nice, because with the Tyranids, it was just whatever my guy had, he had. Uh, but they had, like, a lot more better abilities. Uh, these guys are just much more varied, and basically all I've been doing is just upgrading, like, their battle ones. Because, check it out, their battle ones are pretty awesome. Uh, this guy right here, Weapon Specialist, he gets a, he has an additional, uh, power for every one of them. Which is, well, what I just upgraded last time. Uh, this missile launcher, that frag missile, was uh, one of the new ones. Uh, plasma guns got an overcharged plasma shot. Uh, this has a what? Uh, main target unit slowing their movement speed, increasing damage they take, which I was like, that's kind of dumb. Uh, the laser cannon that I had before uh, fires a sustained laser shot, and like one of the suppressing ones, um, it just doesn't suppress them, but it does more damage. So I was like, eh, you know, I like that. But this one, it seems pretty cool. I can actually bust through walls with this too, so I like that. Uh, let's see, increase Kane's damage. If not deployed, Havoc's gain this bonus, as you see. If I don't decide to use Kane later on, I can just have Havoc have that power. And uh, Fire Frenzy. Chaos Zeal steadily increases Kane's damage, but drains health when out of energy. Grants bonus damage to nearby enemies while active. Uh, I really don't want that. So, I mean, I, I want to do Fear of the Dark Gods for sure. Um, but I guess I will get... Uh, when moving, K knocks back damage to enemy infantry as well. See if I want this, let's see, reduce incoming rage damage and spread infection nearby infantry. Blight. Okay. And this one is warp rift, which I'm never gonna use. Uh chat enemies in the warp. Basically warp rift is he's not gonna move at all and he's like impervious to damage, but he can't attack. So it's like just a wasted guy, and I don't really feel like doing that. So, let's see, Nurgle, Nurgle, oh no, this is Various, Various, Nurgle sounds better, uh, <laughs> anyway, let's see, Plague Carrier, Various attacks have a chance to infect enemy units if not deployed, I like that, I like that a lot, I wanted to, um, have more infections, that way then I can use his uh, special ability a little more often, and once I, I think that once I level up all these guys, like, uh, special abilities, and you know what, let me, let me toss some of these into him. I'm never going to use this plasma gun. And I don't think I'm ever going to use this heavy bolter. I, I know I'm never going to use this chain axe. I'll leave everything else. I know the cannon is still pretty cool. Still pretty cool. So, alright everybody, uh, this is Virus Roll. You see uh, what I'm kind of like looking for here. I'm going to get this ward here during the next one. And you guys have yourself a great day. Make sure to uh, subscribe to the channel, watch the rest of the Chaos Space Marines if this is the first one you're watching. Because it's much more exciting than the other stuff. <laughs> but uh, this is definitely like a big part of the game. And it's uh, it's enjoyable. And just to like, you know, show you guys like, what I'm thinking because there's a lot more, a lot more than what there was before. Definitely. It was just like, oh, one little guy up here. Like, oh, what do I want? Do I want? Uh, oh, yes. And I can also, uh, with all these uh, different squads up here, before, I could only pick between, like, do I want, like, guys who shoot or do I want, like, guys who don't shoot. Uh, now I have the uh, Dreadnoughts and everything like that, and the Space Marines and the Plague Marines, which Plague Marines sound awesome. And they all get all the special bonuses that the uh, heroes get. Plus, they don't do anything my population or uh, people if I choose to, which is really cool. So I can get, like, you know, bigger, better demons, or I can keep... Uh, 
or I can keep these guys, which I like right now. So, all right, you guys have yourself a great day. Enjoy it. And uh, this is.